The Killbuck Savings Bank proudly sponsors the Mount Vernon News Game of the Week. Serving you better with offices in Apple Valley and Danville, Killbuck Savings Bank specializes in community banking. It's what we do. It's who we are. Every single day. Open the KMAC season against Danville in the Killbuck Savings Bank game of the week. An early interception of Ridge Durbin by Highland's Darren Vesquez set the tone for the night for the Highland defense. The Scots Reese, Reese, the Scots Reese, Reese food, picked up some yards, but penalties became headaches for both offenses early in the first half. Brock Vallee carried the ball for Highland, providing a good majority of the running offense. Danville's offense started to get things going by throwing the ball, but the Highland defense would not let them get the second level. Durbin's pass is caught as again, number 27. Highland's Brody Matthews punched it in, putting the Scots on the board for 6-0. Rich Durbin did find Corbin Hazen late in the second quarter, but it wasn't enough. At halftime, it was still Highland 6, Daniel 0. If it's not broken, don't fix it. The Scots started the second half sticking to the ground game. The running game opened up the passing attack as Wiesel who found Vasquez wide open for another six points. Yep. Ridge Durbin did find Bryce Berger for a big game, but later in that same series, Durbin threw another interception. Danville's offense continued to struggle as Ridge Durbin was unable to connect with his receivers. And with 17 seconds left in the game, Highland punches it into the end zone to close it out, 26 to nothing. From Sparta, this is Joshua Morrison for malvernonnews.com.